did I really just stuff a nasty girl bag with two dressing gowns to try and get a nice thumbnail picture? Yes, I did, but have we got a good haul for you guys? I'm looking at the stuff now. It's a good one. Have we got quite the haul for you guys today? I'm actually so excited to film today's video because I think this might be one of the best nasty girl orders or one of the best clothing orders I've done in a long time. So I feel like this is going to be a very good haul month video. If you guys have no idea what I'm going on about, this month I am doing a haul month. So throughout the entirety of September, I'm bringing you hauls three times a week and breaking my bank account whilst doing so. But... It's all for a good cause because I'm letting you guys know the best brands and the best pieces that are out at the moment in the stores for this weird autumn transitional period that we have. And I find it quite difficult to dress. As you can tell today, I'm literally wearing like a vest top, but I, I still feel quite warm even though we're in the middle of September. But without further ado, let's actually get into the first piece for today. You guys know I love a co-ord, so I'm going to start off with a gorgeous little cord that I picked up and this is a lovely cream colour so it's this knitted um it's quite a thin knit like a thin knitted fabric and there's some really cute little like cycling shorts are they like cycling shorts maybe a little bit baggier than cycling shorts at the bottom but still like fairly tight shorts um so yeah these are adorable and then they come with a little matching cardigan which I just think so cute have I got that the right way around yeah, I do. So it's this gorgeous little cardigan and it's got cute little buttons and I feel like this worn off the shoulder with the shorts with like a cute crop top, even like this top underneath will look adorable. Obviously, it's probably more like a lounging around at home outfit or if you're going to the airport or something, I feel like this would go really well, but I don't really have a co-ord like this and I think this actually looks quite good quality and it feels very good quality so I think it will last a long time so let's see what it looks like on okay so now that this set is on I am actually not 100% sure on it and I don't know whether it's the fit of the shorts because I was expecting them to fit a little bit tighter and when I put my legs together there's quite a lot of fabric here so it feels quite weird it's like a little cushion in between my thighs it's quite strange um I do really like the cardigan I think it is really cute I wish that I wish that it was a little bit longer, the shorts were more high waist so you could tuck it in because I feel like that makes the shorts look quite, um, well, short. Um, but yeah, I do like it. I like the colour of it. I think the colour is really nice. Makes me look a lot more tanned than I am, which is what we want. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this actually in the comments because I am actually quite undecided. So this next piece I actually think might be my favourite. Like I haven't tried anything on yet, but it is just so stunning. So it's this beautiful little like peachy creamy coloured satin skirt and it's got a really nice slit that actually goes quite high up the leg so I think it looks very chic. I don't know whether it's going to like fit more midi or maxi on me because I'm quite short I'm like five foot three so it'd be interesting to see how it fits but I just think this of like like even like a t-shirt something to kind of make it look a little bit more chill or even like a nice fancy top I think the skirt is very versatile pair it with some boots or some heels or even trainers I feel like would work um so I picked this up in a UK six and it does have an elasticated band and I feel like this will actually fit really well so nasty girl are under why did I say nasty girl nasty girl I don't know how you say it um they are under the same branch as boohoo and pretty little things so I kind of like do the same sizing as I would do there. So I normally wear like an eight in tops in Boohoo and a six in bottom. So I went for a six um, in the skirt, which I actually think will fit really well. So yeah, I'm really excited to get some use out of this because, oh my God, I'm just obsessed with it. Okay, so this definitely does need a bit of a steam. I'm not gonna lie, it's very creased, but I really love the way the kind of fabric flows. I think it looks really nice. It's such a beautiful color. Um, I really like the slit here as well. I feel like it makes it look quite chic. You could also um, pop it on with a belt, which I think would kind of make it look a little bit more daytime. But yeah, I really, really like this. I think if they do this in other colours, I would definitely purchase as well because it's just such a nice fit. Next up is something that's probably like not that autumnal, but I do think it's really cute. And the, I guess the pattern is quite autumnal. So it's this little like bandeau style um crop top but say bando more like a like a bandana that's something say bandana style crop top in this really nice like paisley i think i think that's how you say it paisley print i really like the colors of this because obviously it's not too summery i think the style of the top obviously is but if you paired this with like i don't know even with the skirt i feel like the colors look quite nice together and like a leather jacket i feel like this would actually be such a nice outfit especially like for the days where it is a little bit warmer in the uk so yeah i really like this i picked this up in an eight but i think like because 
it is just like a bandana style top it probably fit like loads of different sizes um but yeah i absolutely love this okay so this is what the top looks like on i'm actually really happy that the bandana is slightly longer so it does cover more of the stomach area which does make it kind of more acceptable for the season I really love the way that it fits at the back. Like, obviously, you can't wear a bra with it, so it is a little bit cheeky. It's a little bit of a cheekier style top, but I just love the colour. I think the pattern is so beautiful. So, yeah, I'm really impressed. I don't know about you guys, but I am loving lilac at the moment. Like, it's just one of those shades that I can't get enough of. And every time I see something in, like, lilac or purple, I'm like get me it right now it's it's an obsession it's not healthy I, I just can't stop myself so I picked up a little cute cardi in a lilac color and I just thought it was so adorable can we take a moment oh this gives me very like Emma Chamberlain vibes I feel like she would wear this with like a pair of blue jeans and I would probably wear it with the buttons undone I'm not really like one of those cardigan people that like wears them done up and that's my top for the day. I think I probably wear it undone or like off the shoulder. Um, it's so soft. I'm actually really impressed by how soft this is. It feels really nice and cosy. And I really like the actual fit of it because it doesn't look like too cropped where it would be like, oh my God, is she, does she still think she's in July or August? It's kind of like a nice autumnal transitional piece that is that is the definition of this very transitional and um, they do this in so many colors i think there was like 10 maybe even more than 10 colors to choose from so i would highly recommend just because i actually think the fabric that they've used for this is really nice good quality and just so nice and fluffy and warm it's just lovely so i picked this up in a size small which i believe is like a six to eight i don't i don't actually know that's me guessing but yeah i actually really love this i can't wait to see what this looks like on so as i was saying i do think the jumper will look a little bit nicer off the shoulder so i'm just gonna do that now i just think that makes it look a little bit more chic you could even take it off both shoulders if you wanted to or you could wear it normally i you can do what you want um i really love the way that this fits i think it's been cut in a really nice place where it sits like quite nicely on your tummy area and i just love the color i mean the color is actually to die for just this purple i'm obsessed with not sure whether it goes with the blue of the jeans but i just think it's so lovely and i would highly highly recommend this so when this video goes live i believe i will have just landed in greece so can't wait for that trip i feel like i need a holiday it's so bad i really hope it doesn't get put on the list though because i really don't want to quarantine when i get back but i feel like i'm gonna have to which means i would have done like a month's worth of quarantine in two months but it's fine it's worth it for the holiday so if you guys are after greek inspiration or just like a bit of like a getaway please do follow my instagram because i'll be posting so many photos of all my travels so i picked up a dress for the trip and i just couldn't resist like i have so many summer dresses it's actually a bit of a joke but this one was just so beautiful like can we take a moment it's just such a gorgeous colour, like this mint green with the cute tropical flowers printed on. I just think it's lovely. Not sure it's very autumnal. I guess you could wear it with like a leather jacket or like a denim jacket and kind of make it look a bit more casual, but, and a bit more like, not casual, what's the word? Like, you can wear a t-shirt underneath it actually. That's how you can make it look autumnal. So yeah, I would recommend this piece for autumn, but I just think it's so lovely. I really like the tie up straps. It's also really good. Like if you're more petite or if you're taller or if you're just normal, you can kind of like adjust the straps to how you want them. So it kind of would fit everyone, I think. Um, I just love it so, so much. I picked this up in a size eight, which I actually think is quite a nice size. Like by the looks of it right now, it does look like it's gonna fit really nicely. I also think like maybe wearing a chunky black belt with it would also kind of make it look a little bit more kind of, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to think of the word, that's the word I've been trying to think of whilst I'm describing this dress, like more grungy, except grungy is not the right word, just more like, more fashion-y, I don't know, but yeah, let's see what this one looks like on. Oh my gosh, this dress is literally so cute and girly, I really like the fit of it. I did adjust the straps slightly, I don't know whether I'd want to make them a little bit lower, because I do think that this is still sitting quite high on the neck, but I love the colour of this and the pattern, I think it's so summery. Um, I actually thought it was going to fit a little bit tighter, I thought it was going to fit kind of more like this on the body, which... I don't know whether I would prefer that. I feel like the fact that it's looser is really good because right now I've got a bit of a podge because I've eaten too much 
crisps, too many crisps, too much food. Um, so yeah, I actually think this is really, really beautiful and I can't wait to, well, even if, even if I just get one wear out of it this year, I can save it for next year. But yeah, this is really nice. So another dress that I picked up for the trip is actually something that probably is a little bit more kind of like what we could wear in the UK right now. And it's this beautiful leopard print maxi dress. I mean, this is just the most beautiful colour. It's kind of like a deep orange, very autumnal kind of esque dress. And it's got a really nice cow neck as well. And I love cow neck tops. I just think, not tops, dresses. I think they look so chic. I feel like I can't sleep today. Um, so I picked this up in a UK 8. And that was mainly just because I find with cow necks. So I... Um, I don't have the biggest boobs in the world, but my boobs um, do kind of like make cow neck tops quite tight if I buy them a little bit smaller. So normally I would buy like maxi dresses in a six, but an eight is definitely the way to go for me. Um, I just love it so much. It's also got a really big slit. Like, can you see how high up that goes up the leg? So it's going to look very sexy and very cute. So yeah, I love this so much. Oh my God, yes. I am so obsessed with this dress. Can we take a moment? Look at that leg. I love this so much. Like this is absolutely stunning and it looks so expensive. I don't know whether it's the color of the fabric or the way that it's kind of like a little bit shiny and a little bit not shiny. I just think this is so beautiful and definitely my favorite thing out of this entire video. I am living, oh my God, obsessed if there's one thing that nasty gal does really well it's actually their blazer dresses like they've done blazer dresses for god knows how long but i always find that they actually fit the best they're the best quality so i couldn't do a nasty gal haul without picking one up and this one i just thought was so nice i just love the color of it it's kind of like a nice kind of creamy coffee color like a really pale coffee and i just think it's beautiful i really love the kind of crisscross pattern on it as well i think this dress with like a pair of knee high or like even thigh high um like cream boots will look so nice and chic and even like a little cream hat or something i don't own a cream hat but i feel like that would look cute or like a beret oh my god all the inspiration i just love this dress so so much so the dress is very low cut like as would be expected with a blazer dress but i actually think pairing it with like a roll neck or i don't know like a nice jumper i think would actually make it look even more chic than it already is especially if you can find one in like a nice white or cream color so yeah i'm really excited to style this up i'm actually i'm kind of sad that i'm missing out on like the warmest bit of september when i can wear all these kind of pieces i mean i know i'm going away but i just love this style so hopefully it will still be warm when i get back and i can actually wear it because it's just so nice it's also got i've got to say um kind of like padded shoulders you know that padded shoulder vibe that's so in at the moment it's got nice thick shoulders so it'll make you look very like elongated and very classy and all of that so yes i love this so much okay i'm not gonna lie to you guys i do think this dress is a little bit too big i feel like it's not really doing a huge amount for my figure. I probably should have bought it in a size six, but that's fine. I do think there's ways to kind of like combat that though. You can probably like cinch it in with a nice belt, like a white belt or a cream belt, and that will work. And obviously, if you wore like knee high boots, I feel like that would look cute as well. I just really love the color of this, so I think I will keep it purely because I love the color. Um, I might see if they do have it in a six still, and it definitely does need a bit of a steam. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you will know that I am obsessed with my steamer. Like, I steam everything now, so I can't wait to get at this. Probably as soon as this video, like, finishes, I'm going to be steaming the shit out of all these pieces. But, yeah, let me know your thoughts on this, um, whether you like the more kind of oversized fit or whether, for you, you prefer, like, something a bit tighter. I always find it really intriguing because some people, this would be, like, a really good fit for them. But, I don't know, for me, maybe just, like, even just a wincy bit tighter would probably be best. Next up is a piece that I was quite undecided about. I only picked it up in, like, the last few minutes because I just thought oh fuck it I'll see what it looks like on um, and it is this little crop top with the mesh kind of style at the bottom and it's kind of got like fake boning it hasn't actually got any kind of real boning and it's just the way it's been stitched and actually in person it looks really nice I think it was one of those tops where you know when you see it on the model and like you see it in one color and you think oh wow that looks really nice in the black and then you see it in the white and then you're like 
oh, I'm not sure on that. So I actually think maybe it was like a bad picture because I do really, really like this on, well, in person. I think it looks really nice. Um, it is quite a, it has quite a small neck. I'm not going to lie. So I think this is going to be a bit of a struggle to put on with makeup. I always like panic when I have white tops because I just think I'm going to ruin this when I try it on. Um, but no, I do really like it. It also comes in a black and like a more kind of camely colour, but I thought white would definitely be the best one for me, especially as I have a lot of cream blazers and I really like pairing like blue denim, cream blazers and white tops together. I think it looks so nice. I mean, it does look quite small, so it will be interesting to see actually what this looks like on, um, but I do really like the neckline and the way that this fits. It's quite like square, like foxy looking, so yeah. Let's have a look. Okay, I was right. This was literally one of the most difficult tops to put on. I don't know whether you can see, but there's like a lot of foundation stuck there. Like I'm not gonna be able to take this top off now for the rest of the day. I have to take all my makeup off. Um, so I probably would say size up in this. Like I bought this in an eight and I would definitely, definitely size up for a 10 because I just think it is so tight, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I do really like the style of it though. I think it looks really nice with the kind of under boob cut here and then the fake, like, what's it called? Boning, that's the, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, I would say that the stitching here is not the best. Like, can you see that that kind of slants down? Um, so I actually don't think that's very good and I don't think there's any way I can really fix that. Um, so would I recommend this top? Maybe, maybe not so much. I think it looks really nice. It's a really good fashion piece, but I don't think like for any kind of comfort or any kind of like durability, I wouldn't say it's that great. Um, but maybe some of the other colors would be better. Maybe I just, the white one was just a bit of, a bit of a bad, badly made one. Maybe the noodle of black will fit a bit better, but yeah, I don't know. It, it, it is nice. I just think it could be made a bit better. I actually think um, Revolve, that Hours brand, it's actually spelled like Hours, like H-O-U-R-S. They do tops very similar to this and they're a lot better quality. So I would say if you're looking for a top like this, maybe invest a little bit more and then you'll actually get something that's like gonna last you a long time. The next item, again, I wasn't really sure on and now that I'm looking at them in person, I'm like, oh God, these look really long. So it's this pair of like coated, like plastic coated black jeans and they have that really cool like slit um ankle thing at the bottom which does look so chic and to be fair on the misguided haul video that's the one i did so it'd be the first video of haul month to be like my misguided haul i don't know how many videos behind it will be i'll link it down below so you can see it um in that video i actually picked up a pair of trousers that were quite similar like style wise so they might not actually be too long but they do look so so long i'm not gonna lie um obviously i don't think nasty girl do as far as i'm concerned i don't know whether they do a petite range or like a tall range so they obviously make it for like maybe like someone that's like five foot six five foot seven um so yeah it'd be interesting to see what these look like on i might literally eat my words and they might fit perfectly i picked these up in a six which I really hope was the right decision, but they have no stretch in them. I know like denim sometimes does, but these have got no stretch whatsoever. So um, let's hope and pray that they do fit because I do really like them. And I don't know why I always do this. Whenever I have something plasticky, I always like smell it. And these actually don't have any kind of like weird smell to them, which is good. This is when you know you've got a good quality pair of trousers when they don't smell like fish. If you guys can relate, if you guys know what I'm on about, like fishy plastic, Oh, hate it. Oh my god, okay. These jeans are um, definitely, without a doubt, too long. I don't know if there's a way that I could even fix this. I just think even if I wore heels, they would kind of be dragging along the floor a little bit, unless I wear like full on stilettos. Um, but I think the size six actually fits really well. Like it fits nicely in this area and on the waist. Like I don't think I'd need a belt or anything and it doesn't feel too tight either. Um, so if you are a little bit taller than, oh, camera's gone out of focus. Okay, there we go. I don't know where we got to then. Um, but yeah, if you are a little bit taller than me, I would definitely recommend these jeans because I think they do look really nice. I just think on me, they actually look ridiculous. Like I don't know whether you can see if I stand here, like they are just so baggy. Not, not good for us petite girls, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, and the last item in today's video is something that's actually really quite unnecessary to my life, but I want it, it looks really cute. So it's this like white totes kind of style bag. It's actually, oh my God, it looks like it's got a little bogey on it. Ooh. 
that's gross. Um, so it's this little white like tote bag. I'm trying to like pad it out so you can kind of see what it looks like. Let me shove a pillow in there so you can kind of see what it looks like when it's stuffed. Okay, there we kind of go. It's actually, I think, going to be a bit of a struggle to try and get it to sit in a nice shape but I just really like the crisscross style of it I also think it's a nice kind of like holiday bag if you're kind of I don't know even if you're going on like a staycation it's a nice big bag that you can fit lots in I actually think my laptop could fit in this as well so even maybe as like a work bag it does have a tie up bit here so you can shut the bag but obviously it's not like the most secure thing in the world but I just think it's really lovely it looks very chic and it actually looks a lot more expensive than what I paid for it so yeah I'm actually really impressed by this I really like it and that is everything that I picked up from Nasty Gal today let me know your thoughts on today's haul I actually thought all the pieces were so nice and um, although they weren't all very autumnal I'm not gonna lie I think I started the video being like this is great for autumn but actually maybe not so much there were a few summer pieces thrown in there but you know you never know people might be going away we might have another heat wave 2020 is throwing stuff at us that we just didn't expect so it might be like 30 degrees in the middle of october who knows hopefully not because you know global warming we don't want that anyway thank you so so much for watching this video if you did like it and you like me be sure to give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel because we have got so many exciting hauls coming for you guys over the next few weeks thank you so much for watching again and i will see you in the next one bye